Um, new setup, long time no see. I look like a potato. Um, I don't know what day is it. Oh, today's Saturday, it's about 11 o'clock, and I am heading to see my mom and my stepdad because today I'm getting a new phone. It's been a long time coming, and I didn't want to get a new phone. I am happy, I am absolutely happily happy with my S6. Why am I talking backwards? I am happily happy, completely fine with my 6S, but the thing about it is that it doesn't have any more storage, so that was the only way my mom was able to, oh, it's shaking. Why is my mom shaking? Please stop. You guys are shaking too. Um, so yeah, the only way that my mom was able to convince me to change my phone was that um, one, it keeps blacking out, two, I don't get any phone calls or messages, anything like that, and three, um, I'll have more storage. And I was kind of interested in starting up my IGTV, and I can't do that with um, a phone that can't, you know, take any storage, so yeah. So I will get back to you guys when I reach my folks. Okay, bye. Maybe I'm just too G for it. Maybe I'm just too screen, bitch. I can eat roller peas. Trust. Pick up the phone, show, show me what's real. Catch me rolling through the city. Riding with the top off. Man, my whip so big when you in it. You would think, right? I have to show you my friend's mash. Ma I have to show you my friend's mansion. I was hosting a party um, like two, three weeks ago, and he has this ridiculous. I'm talking ridiculously. Do you remember when we lived by Jatke's house? Do you remember that house that was like that? That was like brownish yellow. The one that my friends lived at. Same house. What do you want to say hi? You want to say hi to my vlog? No. Okay. I found my stepdad, guys. He doesn't. We're looking at houses. He's not happy. Thank you for shooting. Hi. Hey, I got you. Before. Weird hands. <laughs> oh wow. Did you lose your phone? Wait, what was it that you said? That your name is Kiki, but when people ask you, Kiki, do you 
love Yeah. <laughs> That's weird. Hey guys, so it is much later. Um, today's plan was for me to get a new phone, get a new tire, and get a new beach pass. Um, and I only was able to get a new phone because it was so complicated to try to get one for myself. Um, so I had to go meet up with my mom and my stepdad. And then we also ran into like seeing an open house. So like we got distracted along the way. And it's been a while since we've all been together. So like I guess like we just took some time. Um, and then now that I have lost time, um, I'm heading back to my place. What? Yeah. So I'm heading back to my place. I have to do an exchange at Marshall's and I'm gonna go take a nap because your girl is tired. So that's pretty much it. Morning. Well, it's almost afternoon. It's only like 11.50 something. Um, and it is, I don't know what day of the week it is, but I am running I feel like I'm running late. Well, I'm supposed to be meeting up with my friend Jess at 12 at a nail salon near my, um, near where I live. And I kept looking at the time, looking at the time. I was like, I've got time. I've got time. Then I woke up and it was like 11:40, and I was like, Psh. um. So yeah, I'm on my way there. Although I will arrive on time according to Waze. Waze says that I will get there at 11:59. Um. So. If anyone really knows me, they know how much I hate getting my nails done. But I came to realize, like, I saw my nails and, like, how long they grew out for the first time, like, ever in my life. Like, I've ever noticed, like, my, the length of my nails. And they were really long. And then I let them stay with that. Like, I didn't get them done again. I, like, got a fill-in twice, which was the first time in my life that I ever even went back for a fill-in before, which I also thought was pretty funny. So like, I did a fill-in for like two months, and originally I had gotten my nails done the first time in May for graduation. So I got two fill-ins and my nails really grew out. Left them uh, without getting them done thinking that, oh, I can wait a week and a half. And then I bit them all. And two of them actually have broken off. So they, they just, it just doesn't, it does not go for my case. So, I am going to meet up with Jess and get my nails did, and hopefully I'm not supremely judged. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. How's everyone else's morning? I wanted to tell you guys a little rant that I have. Alright, so basically, here's the thing. I updated my Mac like my Mac software kind of like hard drive thing because I was able to finally purchase this overdrive like storage thing on the side which basically for when I'm editing videos since it takes up so much space on my laptop I need somewhere to store all of that so I got you know a, a separate hard drive for that um I forgot the name of it but I'll like show it to you guys when I get back home so I get there and it's not glued in so you know I had to make sure it stay correct intact so basically I went ahead I'm sorry if you guys can't hear me because my car is also F the F up so like it does this rattlesnake sound thing when I am um, waiting for the light to change so anyways I go ahead and I update the, the my Mac because you know I removed everything off of it and I really wanted to try this new OS setting thing. OS Sierra Mist, I don't know. But I go ahead and do it and everything turns out fine. I like the way the resolution and everything on my screen. Excited, happy, fine. Then after that, I go to get um use my final cut. And see, I had a friend at the time who had blessed me with Final Cut because at the time he was taking a class and a lot of um, the schools, like what do they do? Like for example, like the school I went to, like they give you a lot of free software because it's kind of already in your tuition. And so like he had the Final Cut software and had downloaded it onto my Mac for me when uh, like maybe two years ago when I was um, trying to, you know, get into the habit of you know, doing better videos with better resolution and stuff. And, you know, so I'm thinking I'm safe, whatever. I go to click it, and it says, you're going to need to update this for 
$2.99, $2.99. So, yes, I am very upset about that, and my life sucks. So, I was very upset because then you think that I didn't try to incognito, try to find a download for me to do the whole Final Cut, for me to be able to Final Cut Pro and then make sure that I can do everything for Final Cut. Um, yes, I did try. I'm not gonna lie, I tried. But my FBI agent blocked every path that I can to try to download that. So it was like you either pay $2.99 or it's a dub. But I came across a new software. I'm not being sponsored. I wish I was. But I am using this new software. This is what you guys are watching. The, like the video that you're watching right now has been edited through the software, which is called DaVinci 14. Um, DaVinci Studio. Well, there's two versions of it. There's DaVinci, DaVinci, and then there's DaVinci Studio. And DaVinci is a, a, like the light version. But what I love about this light version um, versus any other light versions of any other softwares is that it and the Studio version, which is like the Pro version, is essentially the same thing. The only difference is that the Pro version has a couple more updated, um, you know effects and stuff like that but you get to use it and there's no watermarks which was something that was very important to me so like I'm happy and it did take a little bit of time for me to get used to that's the only thing that kind of sucked because it was like I had to relearn a new software but it's very user friendly and anyone who has used iMovie before and you know if you've dabbled in Final Cut a little bit because I was still getting used to Final Cut too that's another reason why I was so upset is because I was still getting used to Final Cut and then I lost it so it made me very unhappy but you know everything happens for a reason and I came across this one and I really likes it and so yeah that's pretty much it so I have arrived to Urban Nail which is where I get my nails done and it was really close to my house it was five minutes but I'm gonna text Jess and tell her I'm here and I will see you guys later or I'll see you inside when I meet up with her or something <laughs> oh, hey, where did you go? <laughs> I went around because I saw you. Do you love how I'm wearing like gym athletic clothing but did not go to the gym? I'm actually joining tonight. I'm joining tonight. I finally decided on one because I'm very picky with Where are you going to go? I'm going to go to Planet Fitness. I think that's the best though because it's cheap. Yeah. Way too much yeah, and it's 24 hours. Yeah, that's really good. Hi. Hi. Uh, yeah, I'm getting a color stuff. Yeah. Okay. It's a gel So, these ones? No, it's a color. Oh, where are the colors? Yeah. Oh, sorry. It's a gel Okay. regular color there. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hey guys, so I'm back at my apartment and, um, Jess and I got our nails done and I love them so much. They look so ridiculously good. I have a really, really bad insecurity with my hands. I'm going to turn on the light so you can see it better. But, like, I love them. I really do. It looks the AC just went on. They're periwinkle, and then this one is, like, you know, sparkly, sparkly. And, um, I can't get over them. I really cannot. Here, hold on. I'm trying to make it... I'm trying to make it like appetizing to look at. Hold on. Like, look. Look at this. It's beautiful. Um, I really love it. And it was not as expensive. I thought it was going to be really expensive for some reason. But it's not. It was about, um, what did I pay? 25 Essentially, I paid like 35 because I gave a $10 tip because it came out so well, but yeah, the lighting is really crazy in the apartment, but it is what it is. I know, I'm saying things like my apartment, and I also have a roommate, and I know I have some updates for you guys. I just haven't had the chance to tell you yet. Oh, also, I got, I got the new phone. I think I already mentioned that in like the previous day, but got the new phone. Got the 8. And I need to still put on a screen on it. 
So my folks were not happy that they had to pay a damage fee after two years because it broke, but it wasn't my fault. A kid kicked it out of my hand at orientation two years ago when I got accepted. So I'm gonna try to put that on. And yeah, oh my God, I love this color. I love these nails. And now this is my signature color. Like, look at it against the, look at it against the marble table. Like, look at this. And I really don't like my hands, but they're beautiful today. Today, I love them. They look fantastic. I need to puree this now. All right, so I decided I love the fact that I can see myself. I got a new camera. I think I told you guys that already, but it's the Olympus Tough um, 870G or something like that. Fantastic. I can't complain right now. Funny story behind it, but um, I know it's like one o'clock, but I didn't eat breakfast, so I made breakfast. I made pancakes and um, eggs, and that's what I'm eating. And I'm watching YouTube right now watching Remy Cruz and uh, yeah I don't think I'm really doing anything really interesting today besides the fact of going to work that's what my day entails if you guys don't eat if you don't eat sriracha sauce with your eggs what are you doing with your life it's not like disgusting but alright we were at one two today we're gonna get So I'm done eating and I am going to try to put on this case that I've been meaning to want uh, to put on what's well, like it's not a case it's a screen cover like a protective case thing I had to go to Marshall's three times that one day um, on Sunday Saturday Saturday I went back twice the screen was cracked and then after that I had to go to another one on my way back home because I was over it and I had to get one but I still haven't put on a new case uh, the screen on it yet <clears throat> Also because like my hands shake a lot and I was really afraid that I'm gonna mess this up. So let's see if I prove myself right and, and mess this up. Ugh, okay. Bronzy color all over the lid and then this matte brown in the crease, but I don't know, we'll see. I wish Kim was here to do my makeup. Um, <clears throat> Alright, I just wanted to Oh look, it came with a little right package. Now, start working on the Here we go. Oh yeah. So satisfying. Manda, don't cry.
that gave me more anxiety than I would that gave me more anxiety than I would ever want it to give me but now that it's finally done and over with because I've dropped the phone twice so far and I'm like thank god it hasn't cracked yet and I was like it's a sign god is saying if you don't get this done I will so find that that I don't like the fact that it doesn't fit the screen, like, the whole thing entirely. But, I mean, like, I bought this for $7 at Marshalls. What did I expect? But this, I can't complain. Like, these are so much better than, like, purchasing them from, like, I guess, like, 7-Eleven or, like, five below. Because, like, the plastic isn't really accommodating for you to use. And these are. So, as a happy... I'm currently editing this vlog right now and oh my battery is about to die so I will talky talky to you guys in a little bit I'm gonna actually switch out the battery I think I have it hold on hi guys so it's a couple days later and I am FaceTiming Chelsea Chelsea you want to say hi oh no we're not doing this <laughs> Chelsea hi Chelsea, Chelsea hi Hello. You have fans. What is this, 2018? So it's a couple of days later and I'm gonna put myself on mute. <laughs> it's a couple of days later and um I had my phone obviously and I just wanted to show you guys that I got a package that came in. I got reached out by this company. I don't know if I'm supposed to say this like vlog is sponsored because it's not. They didn't say that. But I did want to share with you guys um, my first packages from them. So this company is called Poppy and Peril. So essentially like their stuff is pretty much kind of like Forever 21, Charlotte Rue, um, free people like kind of all in one except it's very inexpensive so I wanted to share with you guys so it came in like you know package like this don't want you to look at my address but you know came in a package like this it came what I didn't like is that like I ordered this like July 6th or something like that like yeah, I ordered it July 9th and I didn't get it until like three weeks later so it was a three-week process but what's awesome is that it's free shipping, which is perfect, and their clothes are inexpensive, so I have no problem about it. And then I forget about it, and then it's like a surprise for me. And I was away for a little while, so I completely forgot about these. So the first item is this crop top, and it's called Jola, Hola, it's J-O-L-A. I tried looking it up again on the site just now, and it's not up, so I don't know if I, I don't know if it's sold out yet, but it's like this. Um, I think I'm going to try it on, but essentially they to see what it looks like <laughs> and um it has like the ruffles like the tightened ruffles on the end and on the top so it's off the shoulder and it's really cute i got this in a i ordered everything a size up from my regular size so like like i i tend to be a medium and small and and tops but like large and extra large on the bottom so i just made sure like everything was a large like i rather than be bigger than smaller because then after that i could just have my mom stitch it for me so this is like perfect it's really cute with the hard body um so let's see the next package oh and it came like in a nice like ziploc bag thing too also just to let you know because i like these bags a lot i prefer these over them just being brought in these so my next up uh, fit is a two-piece which i really love because blue is my favorite color but i don't own enough blue which is weird so this outfit it's called the yolifa two-piece got this in a large too essentially it's pretty much like the pink one except the pink one was only the crop top that i got this one has like wider ruffles at the end and it's mad cute the fabric like it's thin it's dumping so keep that in mind so it's probably a little see-through but I don't know wear some nude or something it's summertime like half of you guys are walking around in your bathing suits anyways so and then the, these are the bottoms I don't think these bottoms are gonna fit me so I think I need to stick with like extra large bottoms oh crap I got some lipstick on it I got some lipstick on it lipstick lipstick so they're like this okay <laughs> I think they're gonna be hella cheeky on me, truthfully. So, I don't know. I might end up giving this to my roommate. And then, um, 
I'm missing one. That's all that came? Oh no, nah, I am missing one. Let me go see if I find it. Got it. So this package came like a couple of days ago. So I don't even think that the one order that I made made all the packages come together because I just got this mail a couple of days ago and I didn't go and pick it up. So, and these were already here. So this piece should be the Kirza, Kirza, the Kirza two piece. Oh, I remember this one. I like this, this. This is the one, right? Let me see. Yeah. Okay, this one is hella cute. Look at it. You can already notice the print. I hope it fits me. I got this in a large as well. Yes, this is the two piece. Yes, this one will fit me. Yes! Okay, so look. Look at the shorts. Look at the shorts. These are mad cute. Tell me not. And then they got the, um, well, it's not the tulip cut. They got this, what is this called? What is this called? What is this called? The crochet bindings towards it. I think this was called. I know this is crochet though. And the crochet bindings are. And the crochet bindings, look at them, look at them. Look at them. It's gonna be my cute. And then this is the top. This is definitely gonna be hella see through ish, but wear a new bra, wear a black bra. I don't know what to tell you, but this is gonna be popping. This is really cute. I'm effing with the hard body. Oh, and then it's a zipper. Let's see how she. I hope this isn't expensive, so like you know, zippers don't be working. But even like at Forever 21, clothes are good, zippers trash. Same thing for Francesca's clothing, good zippers trash. Oh, this is not bad. Not bad. It zips. It's not like that's good. That's good. So these are the three items. So I've got the Yolifa, that's the blue one. I got the Kirza. This is the I don't even know, like this is like the lily petals. Yeah, these are the lily pe petals that are on it. And then after that, I have the pink crop top one, which is uh, Jola. I don't name them, but these are cute. I like them, and that's all I wanted to show you. So, again, it's called Poppy Apparel. P-O-P-P-Y Apparel. A-P-P-A-R-E-L. I think that's how you spell it. And if you guys purchase, you guys can use my discount. Discount. I got to discount. Anyways, you guys can use my discount. It's Rhonda Craze 0201. Let me double check. Yep, Rhonda Craze 0201. Rhonda Craze. R-H-O-N-D-A. Craze. C-R-A-Z. E-0201. Perf. So, that'll give you 10% off. And like I said, these items are already inexpensive, which is pretty lit. And you know what I like? It's like, like if I get a two-piece from certain stores, I'm spending a solid 46 on them. You know, like, why? These ones are pretty good. Like, the, the one that I really love is the lily patterned one. And that one, let me see how much was it? The lily patterned one was $24. Like, imagine, now you use that with my discount, so what's up, what's up? It's perfect. So, uh, take a look into that. I'm not forcing you to. I'm just saying, take a look into it. Maybe you'll like it. Maybe you'll F with it. Keep in mind that these are inexpensive. So this is like shopping at, on Romway, or, or, what's that other one? Or Shein, or Zafool, or, or Wish. So keep that in mind, like the clothes are there, they're pretty good, but like keep in mind that they're inexpensive. So like, you know, some of them might be thinner fabric, which should be fine if you're, especially if you're in a climate where it's really warm and really hot. And also if you're like from New York right now where it's boiling hot for the next two weeks until it snows for the next 11 months. So keep that in mind um it's pretty good and they have a variety of things they got shoes they got accessories um they got jewelry they have obviously clothes um like tops crop tops sweaters joggers shorts so i like made this huge huge like wish list of like 200 dollars things so i thinking about looking into but i also want to purchase i'm also considering making a big purchase from runway not entirely sure but i think i probably will probably a good move don't know yet. You know, I've been wanting to tell you guys, like, show you guys. Well, I guess I give you guys an update on like.
like what's going on like i feel like the last time you guys have ever really saw anything about what i've been showing you guys is like when i was um in school doing the fashion show and stuff like that so i'm sorry if i'm repeating myself because i don't remember if i've already brought it up yet i should know this by the time i'm editing but you know like i did graduate um and so that was like a hell of a ride like a ridiculous ride because I didn't even know that I was graduating until like the day before the actual graduation ceremony to walk down. Like it was ridiculous. Like so much stuff was going on, and then I had lost my grandmother and my grandfather and an aunt. So like I just kept losing people within that time period. So it really sucked. And as you guys knew that I've been like packing and getting ready to move since like December when my grandfather passed away and that's around the time I think that was like one of the last updates I gave you before telling you about like doing the fashion show ended up doing it and it was okay it was like a pretty good time but I also like I don't know it was just weird it was a me messed up time for me and so now I have an apartment like I live with my roommate who I met at the fashion show so like we both graduated together um and like you know it's been pretty good like I've been living here for about two months, about a month and some change, and it's not permanent, it's like semi-permanent, so, you know, like, I have pictures up, and I have, like, my things here, which is fantastic, but, like, I don't live with my family, which is cool, but at the same time, it wasn't a part of the plan, so basically, I am in the process of just waiting till we all get together again, because I don't know if you guys noticed, like, Darby hasn't been in any of my videos, none of my Snapchats, none of my stories, nothing, because I had to give him away, which, like, really, really sucked, like, oh my god. That, that's probably, like, the worst thing that's, I mean, I'm, I'm losing people sucks, like, I mean, like, that is painful, but, like, I've had Darby since two weeks after he was born, you know, and he just turned four the other day. My mom threw a birthday party for him, and he's, he's happy, and he's with this other family that we gave him away to, and, like, and um, my mom says it's, like, temporary, you know, like, that he's staying there with them for a while, but, you know, like, he's with a new family, like, he's gonna end up being more attached to them eventually, and I don't know when we're all gonna be all together again, which is, I'm be soon it's just that you know it's like so things come and go and um i wasn't able to move here in this apartment with him because like first of all this was like a very last minute transition and two it's like i don't even think we can't even have pets here really at least not darby and like the thing that sucks about having a pit bull is that there's such a negative stigma that comes along with it and you know they have such a bad reputation because of you know the situations that they're put in so unfortunately i can't even have him with me right now and so you know it's best that you know when we're all under one big happy family roof again that you know then i'll have him um all over again but that's kind of been like what's been going on like new location new phone new little like lifestyle and and no darby so like that's kind of what's been going on and um it kind of eats me and it kind of grinds me up a little but my mom sees him every day like I haven't had the heart to go see him like I've seen him maybe two three times and then like I was like I'm gonna keep crying and then he's gonna see me cry and then Darby's such an emotional person too I said person I know what I said and so I couldn't do it I haven't been able to see him see him but my mom will go and she'll like send me videos or um, pictures of them so she sees him almost every day so there's seven days in which she sees him at least a solid five or she'll go see him during her break at work so he's close by like he's only like 18 minutes away from me he's like 10 minutes away from my mom when she's at work and stuff so like it's not bad so like you know he's doing well he's doing good his birthday just passed on july 9th i'm lying july 19th so it's been a good time um and yeah i'm thinking about probably the next video giving you guys an, an apartment tour um and i don't know maybe if you guys want to meet my roommate maybe i'll introduce you to my roommate but that's pretty much it i don't really have much for this new vlog besides the 
new intro. What do you guys think of the intro? Well, funny thing. So I've been working on that intro for, it's been like months. Like, that's like a six month project that I was working on, which usually doesn't take me that long. But I was having so much problems with softwares and stuff like that. And, you know, personal things. I haven't had time to sit down and do it. And I'm like looking at this intro, I'm like, I haven't seen 80% of the people who are in this intro that I'm constantly, usually, always with. But I really like it. And I don't think I'll be changing it until after Vlogmas. So I hope you guys really enjoy the new intro. Because I did. And you guys get to see a little bit more of the blonde. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, speaking of blonde, somebody sent an SOS to my hairstylist and tell her I miss her. I need her. I need to see her. Do you not see this wrapped up? Because you don't want to see what's underneath there. You don't want to see these edges because they're gone. Somebody find Yana and tell her I need her. <laughs> tell her I need her and I miss her so much. Ugh. I only go to Shiana when I have human hair. <laughs> and I've been wearing synthetic lately because I'm broke. And I'm trying to be bougie. So, you know. Um, yeah, so guys, check out Poppy. Uh, if you didn't notice the intro and you happen to skip it, check out the intro. And stay tuned for my next vlog. Oh my god, I almost forgot to tell you. I made my first IGTV video. And I put it up like three days ago, and I haven't looked at it since. I probably have like two views on it, but it's, it's funny because they're like two sides to me in a way. And like there's like the yo what's up, what's up, what's up side to me, I don't know how to explain that. And then there's like the oh my god side to me, which they mix in the middle, you know? And this video, like a lot of my friends don't see me in that light, like they know me and they've met me the way I am, but they, I, a lot of them don't even know that I have a YouTube channel, and it's so funny, so like I posted it, and some people are like hitting me up, and they're like, bro, like, <laughs> what is that, and I'm like, it's my IGTV, <laughs> so I posted my first video up, um, and you know, if you guys follow it, it's on my Instagram, obviously, and it's the same name as the one I have here on YouTube, so it's Rhonda Craze. Okay, bye everyone! Baby, I know you.